Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. Today we have finally the gorilla here guys, the behemoth, behemoth which is like monster uh, in literally translation, but we finally have it now and I did some tests for the, the, the beast and it is definitely overpowered guys you know the you can test this in tiles for example sending troops from other player to the tiles and you attack him and then you send even formations but an easier way to do that if you don't have like another player or farm account to test it then it's just attack infected zombies you know so what i did was a couple of attacks here i sent one mars with the aircraft one without the aircraft one with the aircraft on the gorilla and I did that with the gorilla was level four or level zero, you know, when I haven't I hadn't even upgraded yet. And then I upgraded him like one more level. And then I attack again. I did the test, and uh, the gorilla is definitely overpowering, guys. You know, so the first attack I did was with the aircraft. I generate just 2,167 damage. I got three wounded, which is normal. The amount of like troop wounded you're gonna get is consistent when you're losing the battle against an infected zombie. So with the aircraft, 2,167. And then if you go with the aircraft and the gorilla, it's 13,155. So you are generating like, once you add the gorilla to the march, at least five times more damage with the gorilla. It's definitely overpowered. And if I say the gorilla alone, or if I send a march without the aircraft and the gorilla, it's just like 1,668, which is like, you know fair so if you're not sending your aircraft and your gorilla 1668 if you send the aircraft 2167 which is what you expect you know and increase just like a, in 300 300 um, points of damage 400 points thousand two thousand max but once you are the gorilla to the march you are getting an increase in here right almost eleven thousand points in damage which is crazy it is definitely overpowered i think that they do this on purpose because stay versus stay and reservoir rate is coming soon so when the people are fighting for the reservoir rate and stay versus stay they are gonna see the discrepancy in power and they're gonna go crazy they did it with Waco, they did it with what with daryl they did it with like a uh, mikoto they did it with the joker they did it with like uh, oh, there was one i think that resonant heroes was the most popular with hank they release those heroes, they overpower them. The spenders realize that they are losing the battle in a state versus state or reservoir rate. So they get super mad and they say, wow, we lost because I didn't have like uh, enough fragments for X uh, hero or I didn't upgrade X uh, uh, enough, like for example, Gorilla Aircraft. And then they go, of course, for the next one to buy a lot of bundles. But what happened is that a state of survival is just gonna nerf him down, you know? Like they nerfed like Waco down, they nerfed like Daryl down, they nerfed Hank. They nerfed a lot of those heroes down because in the beginning, they just wanna give you that impression that what they are releasing is super powerful and you have to bite it. So these are the three attacks where I just got the gorilla, then I upgraded the gorilla, um, and then I, generation, I generated 12,655. And before I was doing just with the gorilla, let's see. No, this one aircraft, this one aircraft and gorilla, this one uh, just uh, a march along. This one was the gorilla alone, 12,655. Uh, and then this one was the gorilla alone after upgrading the gorilla one more level you know so you know that you are getting these free fragments for logging in and releasing the the, the beast so this is a, a reasonable increment you get 12,655 and when they when you just upgrade one more level 12,663 so it's just like a very few points in damage which is what you expect you don't expect to go for like for example like 2000 to 13,000 that that's just crazy and you see that you can test this here because it's consistent so 12,655 and then I just tested the gorilla and the aircraft again once I upgraded the gorilla 13,163 and then this was my March before 13,155 so it's an increasing eight point damage when you like upgrade the gorilla each level for example I went from if I go here I went from, yeah, from this one, 
yeah, from level one to level two. Now, if you increase it to level three, it's another 8% damage, or maybe it might be just exponentially, I don't know. But that's the increase that you expect in most of the, the you know, the, the stats overall. You don't expect an in price increase in, in damage generating, but uh, it's definitely overpowering because I remember testing these heroes before, like Waco, Daryl, and the difference in damage in the worst case scenario was like 2,000, 3,000 in damage with the Gorilla, it's just crazy, from 2,000 to 13,000. So they are definitely overpowered these beasts. Of course, if you wanna have an advantage, you should get it, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna nerf it down, you know, as they did with other heroes, I did this with the most of the stuff that they're releasing new. So yeah, as I told you before, uh, if you are an spender and you want to be on the top of the game, it doesn't matter if they're adding just like 5% increase in damage, 10 or 20 or 21 or 51, you are you have to get to the top just to be at the top, right? It makes sense. So there is no choice for you. But if you are like this, like, let's say low spender and you are going to go crazy on the gorilla, uh, I might just hold him down a little bit because you don't know what's gonna happen now. It seems like a very, very good idea based on the difference on damage, you see, from 2,000 to 13,000. And then, of course, it's gonna make a big difference, but I don't think it is gonna remain like that. So, yeah, you also have to see what you're gonna get as a free-to-play player. Yeah, you can go here to the bundles and buy, like, let's say, these uh, 13 fragments, this uh, bio battery, and serum that you have to, to use to upgrade the gorilla and the, the stats. But uh, you know, we have the event going, which is this one, where is that? Yeah, you go here to Behemoth uh, and you can just go, where is this, this one? And it is opening at these times here, one UTC 12, UTC 18, UTC 5, attack at 10 and replenish at 0, 0, UTC. So you better rally with a strong rally leader so you generate damage and you get rewards. And then after that, well, you are just uh, get to see what you're gonna get. Uh, after you see what you're gonna get, then you decide whether it is uh, a reasonable idea to spend or not. For now, I will hold it a little bit and see what's going on, if they're gonna nerf it down, if it's worth it. Now, of course, it is worth it because it's super overpowered, but you are not gonna know in the future. So that's uh, my take on the Gorilla. So watch the report, do your test as well, and you're gonna realize uh, I think it is gonna, players are gonna be mad. The ones who didn't upgrade the Gorilla for the next SBAs of Reservoir Raid, they are gonna be mad when, when they cannot knock the people out. And you are gonna see as well, what's the, the point of the Gorilla in the Reservoir Raid? It's gonna have the same skills and benefits like in the capital. You also have to evaluate that. So, okay, guys, let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.